Hello there, and welcome to the Deep Relaxation Clinic. Before we start, I'd love to take a listen to your heart. I want to listen to its speed and its strength. Kind of get a baseline of where you're at. Is that okay with you? Breathe normally here. So, I can certainly take the pulse as well to get our heart rate, but I really want to listen to see, is the heart beating quite forcefully, or is it more relaxed? This gives me Good. Okay. And while we're here, you could just take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Last one. And out. Good. So, that gives me a couple of pieces of information. It tells me a little bit about your lung capacity, and it also makes sure that if you were previously breathing quite shallowly, maybe quite quick, then we're manually setting a different rhythm. And it tells me a little bit about just your general relaxation. A lot of people, as they start to breathe in the rhythm that we set, they start easing into it a little bit as well. So, that is the name of the game for our session. We want to relax you as much as possible, and we really want you to melt into it. So, I would like to start by running a little inventory of some very commonly, very commonly tense places in the body. So at some points, I may be touching you. Is that okay with you? Good. So, firstly, our number one spot. How is the jaw doing? How is the muscle right in here doing? The masseter muscle, the temporomandibular joint. How is that doing right now? Is it quite tense, rather clenched up? Can we let that go a little bit? Right in here. Maybe can we lay the tongue down? Those who speak English as their mother language, oftentimes our tongues rest at the top of our mouth, the roof of our mouth, and we don't but if you could just let the tongue relax down, let it rest into the space guarded by your teeth. Let it just relax down. 
See how that feels if you can get a bit of space between the teeth. Open up the jaw a little bit. If you find it quite difficult, if you're very careful about it, you might just let the tip of the tongue rest between the teeth. You have to be careful that you don't bite it. But it does give that little bit of space in the jaw, in the teeth. So we have the jaw here. And now let's move to another very common spot that's usually needing a bit of adjustment. Let's take a look at the shoulders here. How are the shoulders doing? Where are they at right now in relation to the rest of the body? Are they hitched up? Are they pulled forward? What are the shoulders doing here? And then I'm going to press down on your shoulders. We're going to lower the shoulders so that they're not hitched up but instead relaxed. shoulders down, and then we're going to roll them back a little bit so that we're opening up the chest here. Roll them back. Roll them back. Roll them back a bit. Let the shoulder blades come together a bit more. Roll it back. Good. So this helps relax the chest area a bit more. If we keep our shoulders like this, you can get pain in the chest here. These muscles get quite tense. So we let that all relax. And now let's move from there to the temples here. And this is something that goes along with the jaw. The temporalis muscle and the masseter muscle here work together for our action of mastication. So when we have this muscle tensed, often we have this one tensed. So we're just going to take a little inventory. What's going on here in the temple? Does this feel quite relaxed or... Maybe do we need a few gentle circles here? Just, just a few circles here. There we go. Okay, now how about that? Does that feel a little looser? Now let's go ahead and take a look at the forehead here. So this is also somewhere that we often have our eyebrows hitched up or furrowed as well. So let's just take a look here. What is the forehead doing? Is it quite clenched? And can we relax that down a bit? Sometimes, if we find a muscle that does not want to respond to us, we're trying to get it to relax, but it wants to stay stuck. In this instance, we can lean in to the tension. So, for example, let's say we have the jaw. If it's already tense, perhaps we clench our teeth. Tense it further for a few seconds, and then let it relax. Sometimes when it's stuck in that in-between stage, between clenched and unclenched, it's doing this sort of unconscious sticking in between. 
if we set it all the way to clenched, then when we manually go to unclench, there's a good possibility it'll stay there, okay? So the forehead here, if it's stuck, maybe we furrow the brow or raise the eyebrows and give it some more tension so that we can let it relax. Sometimes you have to kind of use the muscle against itself. There's not exactly a manual that tells us how we're supposed to how we're supposed to control a muscle even when it's unconscious we know that something may not feel good and we know what does feel good but sometimes those are counterintuitive to how the muscle is supposed to be how the structure is supposed to be Sometimes that information gets a little muddled. So we're just relaxing this. Just giving a bit of gentle kneading here. Okay, let me just pinch the brows here. This is a fun one. is going to be the eyes here. How do your eyes feel? Can we maybe try to relax those little muscles behind the eyes? These are called rectus muscles. Straight muscles as it's known in Latin. Rectus muscles behind the eye. Can we let those relax and soften a bit. Just around the eyes here. Just let those relax. Let the eyes relax back into their sockets. Good. Now let's move on to the rest of the body. How is the neck doing? Is it pushed forward quite a bit or is it able to relax in a neutral position? Is the sternocleidomastoid here, is that quite tense or is it nice and just take a bit of a check to see where your head is. The more the head is pushed forward, the more force is exerted on the neck here. You have a bowling ball on top of a stick, basically. So the more it's pushed forward, the more energy is needed to keep you in this straight, upright position. So just kind of check what's going on here. If you need to bring it back, if you need to tilt the head a bit, okay? Just making sure this is all in alignment. Again, this can be kind of difficult because we don't notice our head moving further and further until all of a sudden it's way off. And let that rest. Let those muscles rest here. Okay. And then let's take a look at the hands. Are the hands clenched? Or can we give them a little bit of space? Just this gentle sort of curve. Very slight curve to the palm. We're not keeping it way open, but just allowing it to be neutral here. Just 
letting our fingers curl a little bit. Letting our hands stay open. And what about our arms? Are the arms nice and loose? Or are they holding tension too? Do we need to take a moment to clench the fists? Engage the muscles of the arms in order to hold all that tension and let it go. And then feel everything relax back. And what about the legs? How are the legs doing? Is there any position that can make them even just the littlest bit more comfortable? Look at the legs. Just take a little scan. And even the feet. Are they relaxed or are they quite taut? Are they shifted to one side or another? Is that comfortable for you? Or is there a position that would make them more comfortable? And the hips and the back. These places are often pretty tense as well. These are very hard working areas of the body. So, is there anything we can do with the hips and back in order to let this area relax? Just going to take a little peek here. It's going to manually feel everything and make sure that it is relaxed. And if there's an area of tension, can we rectify that? shoulders down, rolled back, chest is nice and open, the arms are relaxed, relaxed, good, now since we have you all loose and limber, I am going to work with you on a transition of breath. And we're going to let the body sink in even deeper into the relaxation. So I am going to do that guided breathing like we did with the stethoscope. And with each breath, you're going to feel your body feel a little heavier. It's going to feel like gravity pushes on you just a bit. The center of the earth is pulling you down just a bit more. Everything sinks back. Everything opens up. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in. Make sure it's comfortable for you. And out. in through the nose and out through the mouth, but we need this to be comfortable and relaxing. So if that doesn't work for you, adjust until it is. We want this to be as relaxing as possible. Deep breath in. The 
breath works so much more than people give it credit for because unfortunately it's a very simple thing to do. So it feels quite ineffective and sometimes it doesn't work all the way. But when we're already relaxed, that's that little trigger that tells the body, okay, we are going in to rest and digest. We are going to sink into that. around a little bit. So we certainly have lost a bit of that force, which is good. The body doesn't need as much force to keep the blood flowing. Good. And it's certainly slowed down. These are some signs we want to look for when we're trying to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is that rest and digest part of the nervous system. Now from here, I am going to work with these little micro adjustments. I'm going to work with just the tiny little bits of gentle adjustments to melt the remaining tension in the muscles. So here we're working with that little bit of kneading in the forehead. Pulling the tension out. Good. You're more than welcome to keep your eyes open, keep them closed, whatever works for you. I often find that many people like to close their eyes and allow their mind to drift. Working on easing that tension back. So then, when you leave here, your muscles should be reset back to their normal, relaxed state. instead just eased back. Just working on each muscle and giving it adequate attention. Working on each muscle. Good. 
with right up in here, which messes around here. It's a whole thing. The majority of headaches are caused by tension. And a big part of that is that jaw. We just, I don't want to say dig our fingers in, but sink our fingers in sink it into the muscle, give it a little bit of movement, open up that area for some space and for some blood flow. also be quite a tense area. Just a bit of sweeping across the face. Just a bit of sweeping. I'm just doing very gentle sort of movements here, more moving the skin almost 
on the front of the neck here. So this is not somewhere we want to knead into. Easiest in here, we can do some kneading. So we have right behind here, there is this trapezoidal piece of muscle, and it comes up the neck, out to the shoulders, and down the back. and knots are in the top part of this trapezius. Good. So I'm just giving that a squeeze. I'm not going to work with pressing in on specific trigger points. What I want is we're opening everything up, getting some circulation in there, and letting it just unwind. Squeeze. 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 Good. spend quite a bit of time on the trapezius because it often quite feels really nice to have someone just put some weight down on the shoulders. So I'm going to put my hands here, breath, and release. Give them a nice push, roll them back. Just going to push and roll. Push and roll. Push and roll. There we go. Okay. That's all settled in. It's all relaxed. So we can work a little bit with the arms here. Give them a 
If you type a lot, if you're on your phone a lot, if you click the computer mouse a lot, you might notice that this area can get pretty sore. That's where you get the golfer's elbow or the tennis elbow, depending on which side you have but that's if it becomes a tendonitis. Just give them a nice squeeze. Let them just warm up a little. massage because we're working on the muscle tension. So we're doing a lot of squeezing motions. We're doing a lot of lifting and kneading. So that's where we see that redness in the skin, the erythema that tells us that we are bringing fresh blood and nutrients to that area of the body. It's both stimulating and relaxing. Working from the upper arm, the elbow, down into the forearm. Then we get into the hand and do some squeezing in here. Just trying to warm this area up. And then when we're looking at the legs, we can get into the thighs, for example, and we can just do some squeezing throughout here, a little bit of kneading. work on easing the tension in this also very powerful muscle. This one you might have 
some issues with the IT band, for example. Some people, the ab or adductors, get a little tight. Work on one side. Good. And the other. Squeezing everything. Just working on moving those muscles around. Moving the skin around. Movement so that the fascia doesn't get stuck, that the muscles don't get stuck. I want to make sure that this is all free and open. We don't have any areas of congestion. Don't have any stickiness in the tissues. Now since we're flooding everything with fresh blood, I would highly recommend, it's always going to be a recommendation, but I would highly recommend a lot of water so that you make sure that blood is nice and thin, that your fluids are all in a good spot, you get that extra little refreshing sort of burst of fluids. and scooping this muscle. Along the front of the shin, there's not a lot going on in terms of muscle tension. We're working with that calf to squeeze and lift. Primarily with the calf muscle. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze. Good. Doing really well. I can feel everything. As for the feet, we can give them a couple of squeezes. So, just going to take the feet, squeeze and release. Good 
posture in the neck so that I can fully relax. Good. And what about the trapezius here? And the arm. Everything is loose and relaxed and pliable. So, we're going to do one last little transition of breath to cement this relaxed feeling together and allow you to melt completely into it. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. Just gonna listen to your lungs as you breathe. Breathing pretty deeply naturally. Good. That's sounding really nice. Good capacity. If you would like to keep basking in this relaxation, you are more than welcome to. If you'd like to get back to your day, then this is the part where we can slowly start to come to. So maybe we have a little bit of movement in the fingers. Maybe we get a little bit of movement in the toes. Maybe we allow the head to move from side to side, allowing the back of our head to 
rub against the surface against it. And then when you're ready, you're more than welcome to just flutter the eyelids open. Let them stay unfocused for a few moments. Let the light and colors and textures just sort of register without discerning any detail. Just give your eyes a moment to acclimate before looking at anything in particular. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me here at the Deep Relaxation Clinic. list.